of them, the man who eats kings and queens. Kings and queens are hard to beat. A pack of cards is hard to eat. Right now, I can do with a little snack. I think I'll eat about half the pack. What? Oh, God. Call a doctor and call him quick. Reading these cards is making me sick. Be when you grow up. Just like you, Lullaby. Well, like me, that's very flattering. Yeah, a big dummy. <laughs> Don't go away, folks. No, oh, the next act is good. What do you mean good? It's stupendous. It's absolutely mediocre. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give me great pleasure to introduce the Superman of the age, a modern Hercules, a second stand-down, the mighty Tucson Smith. Young Fritz, I give you liver. <laughs> Tucson will now give you a little sample of his drink. Now the boys see me in this goofy outfit. How'd you like to have those big, strong arms around you? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> 500 pounds is lifting, folks. Yeah, I better stare at 10. <laughs> Is that so? Rubber made out of rubber, a wood. Yeah, like your head. <laughs> Way to find out, stranger. Come up here and lift it. Damaging our cash customers too often, so bad business. I won't get another chance, you know. This is our last show. That's right. I'm awful sorry, Stoney. Don't apologize, Lullaby. You gave him a chance to show off, didn't you? <laughs> well, you boys sure put this show on its feet. Oh, forget it, Jeff. We had a swell time of trooping. Yeah, I might join up again next season. No, you don't. We got a ranch to take care of. I know you boys neglected your own interests to help me out. Well, I didn't mean it that way, Jeff. We wouldn't have a ranch if you hadn't come through for us that time. We'll be heading for winter quarters tomorrow, boys. I just want you to know how grateful I am for your help. <laughs> so long, Jeff. Oh, boy, 
found 10,000 in counterfeit bills in Harris's private safe. Yep. I've seen bills that look like this a couple of times. My pay envelope. I drew $2,000 from the bank that morning and gave it to my partner. He always handled the financial details. I was never with the circus on the road. $1,000 in bona fide currency was found in Harris' desk. For this, he substituted counterfeit money to make up the payroll. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Defendants will rise and face the court. Thomas Rigby, the evidence presented is insufficient to convict you of complicity in this case. Therefore, you stand acquitted. However, insofar as this court is concerned, you're still under suspicion and will be watched. You, Jefferson Harris, have been found guilty as charged. And the sentence of this court is 10 years in federal prison. I, Jefferson Harris, hereby appoint Tucson Smith, Stony Brook, and Lullaby Jocelyn, administrators of my estate and guardians of my daughter Nancy until she comes of legal age. Sheriff, will you sign as witness? You'll have to appear before Judge Blake and have him approve the appointment and adoption proceedings. 
That's all right, Sheriff. The judge is a friend of ours. Why can't Jeff wait here and see his youngster to stay? He'll be here in a few minutes. Well, it's all right, Lullaby, but I'd rather not see her. Hey, is that necessary? I'm afraid it is. Not so bad going away now that I know my little girl will be in good hands. You won't be there long. Why, Jeff, we'll have the real crooks rounded up before you have time to get settled. I'm going to keep an eye on that pair that testified against you. Thanks, Tony. So long, boys, and thanks for everything. So long, Jeff. So long, Jeff. Swell guy like that being railroaded. Tony, sometimes you say things that make sense. Yeah, but not often. You mean those two witnesses? Yeah, but one's enough. Say, boys, we ain't got time for riddles. That stage is about due. You and Fong meet it. Okay. Remember that act I used to do? Yeah. Well, the costume's still over at winter quarters. Let's go, Fong. The stage will be here in a minute. All right. Jeff's kid must be coming in today. Looks like he'd have made you her guardian instead of the Musketeers. After all, you was his partner. Yeah, but I'll get control of that circus in spite of those three. We better ease him out before we start ship again. There she comes, little girl and governor's wife. Come long way. Listen, lunkhead, a governess is not a governor's wife. Yeah, who you like it? Can't get it. A governess is a kind of a cross between a school mom and a hired girl. This one is probably some horse-faced old gal with peeled back hair and thick. <laughs> Why, well, welcome to Mesquite, Mom. I sure hope you had a pleasant trip. I beg your pardon. Well, you ain't done nothing. Me take you, see you up, Papa. Mama! manage now. And hurry up. I can't stay in this thing all day. You're going to crack out for the truth, or I'll put you behind bars. In there with that little pet. Oh, you know, Bond was really affectionate. He just plays a little rough once in a while. He tears off an arm or a leg. What's he doing here? Well, I'll tell you, Dan. He's the latest thing in lie detector. Come on, now, who's back of that counterfeiting outfit? I don't know. Ah! Oh, hurry up, let go! Who framed Jeff Harris? I don't know. Maybe Bongo will help you remember. Don't put me in the bed, eh? Come on! Hey, Tucson, take off 
my hat. Learned if I can ever recognize you without your hat, Tucson. I hope I didn't scare you. Why, no, not at all. What were you playing? A little game called Truth. I suppose you're Nancy. Uh-huh. This is Nancy's governess, Miss Reed. The gent in the fur rug is Tucson Smith. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Stony Brook. Hello. Hello. Are these the other two guardians? That's right. Can I see my daddy now? Uh, in a little while, darling. Uh, which reminds me, we'd better have Judge Blake see about those adoption papers. I'll get out of this outfit and I'll meet you in his office. Lullaby. Look after Nancy. You boys willing to take on this responsibility? Yeah. Well, sure. Well, then, I reckon ain't nothing left for me to do but to sign it. Just a moment, Your Honor. Don't you think you should give this matter a little more consideration? Well, I don't know. Why? Well, I'm only thinking of Nancy's welfare. It seems to me these two men are a little too irresponsible to be ideal guardians. Well, I don't believe Miss Reed quite understands that... There's something in what she says at that. Raising a young female is kind of out of your territory. Oh, but Judge, that's the way Jeff wanted it. That's right. Tell you what I'll do, boys. I'll give you a week to prove that you're fit guardians. If you manage to behave yourselves that long, I'll sign this paper. All right, granted Rigby's our man. How are we going to prove we framed Jeff? Well, if you were in a profitable racket and you figured that the coast was clear, wouldn't you start operating again? I'm beginning to see daylight. Now look, here's how we'll work it. Hello? Oh, good morning, Sheriff. You're back early. Yeah. The Treasury Department don't consider your case closed by a long shot. They figure Harris must have had Confederates. Undoubtedly. Yes, of course, we'd be glad to cooperate in every way possible. Thanks for calling. Put it back. I thought it was too soon. What's up? Federal dicks are on their way over here to give the joint another going over. They sure picked a swell time. Get it out of here, quick. Back to the mint? Yes. Harry, you better go along, too. Yeah.
Maybe he fell for the trick phone call, huh? Want to sign a little confession, Danny? You think you can make me talk? You're crazy. Well, in this case, money talks. Even if it is counterfeit. your friend Dan, so I'm going to give you a chance to turn state's evidence. You'll get a break. Who framed Jeff Harris? Was it Rigby? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll get it from Dan. Wait a minute. Sure. It was Rigby. All right. Put it in writing. Remember, you promised to give me a break. Sure. Here. Who's on? I told Jeff I'd have him out of prison in a hurry. A brook never misses. Here, Rigby, we'll sweep out a cell for you. Hey, Sheriff. Guess he's not here. Well, we can put these birdies in their cages anyway. Call about you. Better go see if you can corral the sheriff. Go on, go on. Beans, huh? What do we do? I don't know. We'll have to watch our chance. Hey, Zeke. Where's the sheriff? Sheriff? Oh, he just left town about two or three hours ago. Didn't say where he was going or when he'd be back. That didn't say nothing. Anything I can do for you? Don't know. I'd like to buy a present for a little gal. Would she like a doll? No, she got one. How about that hooting on the over there? Yes, indeed. The children are just crazy about those wagons. I'll get it down for you. I'll get it. sure left Miss Ellen cold. Is that so? In a week's time, I'll have a reading out of my hand. Let me tell you. 
tell you something. They send you out for the sheriff and you come back with a snootful. Oh, the sheriff, yes. Jake, is the boss going to spring us? Sure. When? Right now. good chance to murder these men. I know. One of us should have stayed here to guard them. In view of the circumstances, you'll have to be held for further questioning. Not me. I'm leaving. Wait a minute, Scotty. You can't do that. Hi, Sheriff. Your Honor. Anything on your mind, Zeke? Well, I just thought you might be like to know that i seen the fella. Who? Well, I couldn't say who. His back was to me when he was shooting in the cell. Then he ran up the alley away from me. Was it either one of them three? Don't be silly, Judge. Of course not. Are you certain? Don't know who it was. But I know who it wasn't. <clears throat> well, I reckon we won't hold you boys after all. Thanks, Judge. But I'm warning you. Don't get mixed up in any more riots or killings around here. Another performance like today, and I'll take that child away from you. Oh, don't worry. We'll stay out of trouble. Sheriff, post a reward for the apprehension of the murderer. Boy, you do me a favor? Sure, anything. You meant what you said, didn't you, about keeping out of trouble? From now on, you'll think we're a peace conference. Yes, ma'am. Mary's a little lamb, that does. Well, in that case, you won't have any more use for your guns now, will you? No. Then why not give them to me? Oh, no, no. Gosh, almighty, I wouldn't feel dressed. Well, of course, if you want to get into more trouble and lose Nancy. I reckon the lady's plumb right, fellas. Tony? Oh. what I do. Thanks, Tony. Very clever. They're ditching our artillery. We'll be out later. Yes, we have a little business to attend to. <laughs> this is too good to pass up. Get the boys together and step on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
guy, buddy. I reckon he wants to go to heaven. Well, don't worry. I got you covered, boys. Don't turn around. Drop their guns and relax. Pick up those guns, lullaby. Welcome home, sweetheart. Did I ever tell you boys I was a ventriloquist? late for us outside of town and beat us up. I'll say they did. These two are in pretty bad shape. I'd better take them over to the doctor. Go ahead. Is this true, boys? Yeah. But they forgot to mention that they tried to ambush us. Uh, take them inside. You boy been playing sheriff again? Nah, Judge, but these hombres fired us. Had any trouble with them before? They had a run in with these two just a few days ago. Ah, oh, sure. They've always had it in for us. So you tried to pick them off? Oh, they jumped us without any reason. Oh, sure. We'd be likely to. We weren't even armed. You think we're crazy? I wouldn't know. I'll talk to them later. All right. I'm plumb sorry, Judge, if we caused any rumpus. If you caught any rumpus, well, if I go loco, two men are shot, and a couple more are crippled. I warned you, if anything else happened, I'd take that Harris child away from you, and now I'm going to do it. But, Judge, what will happen to her? She'll be committed to some institution. An orphanage? Yes. Of course, I prefer placing her with some respectable family. Judge, if you'll just let us keep her a little longer. We'll do anything you say. That's right, Judge, anything. Anything? Very well, you may keep her. On one condition, that one of you marry and settle down. Marry? marry. Yes, you heard of it. I'll give you three days to make up your mind. That's all I have to get. Me, many one. Make up mine, yes? Oh, Fong, have a heart. You make me tired. Always running after girls. Get married. Won't have to run no more. It's not that Miss Ellen's not a nice girl, but. So you know, Tucson, she likes you better than she likes me. That's in the buck, eh? No, it's just that... Right careless of me, Miss Lynn, that last wife of mine, she'd come in handy now. Yeah, you would have an alibi. Bong's right, Stoney. Looks like there's nothing else that we can do. You watch him. Me fix him. Yeah, you fix him. Don't ever marry, my son, cause when you marry, you're done. Are you saying your prayers, Fong? Oh, hello. But lullaby. We were just getting ready to ride into town. You can go as soon as you've sung one song. 
Now, come on. Make it snappy, fellas. A love song, eh? Yeah, real romantic. something to ask you. Yes. Miss Allen, we, you see, Stoney and I have always sort of shared everything. He means we go 50-50. That's what I thought he meant. But now we can't. It's... Every man for himself? Yeah. Only we couldn't make up our minds which one should uh, make the great sacrifice. Yeah. No, no. We thought we'd leave it up to you. I know you're speaking English, but you just don't make sense. Well, we're going to let you decide. Decide what? Which one of us you'll marry. Why, boys, you practically swept me off my feet. You know, Tucson will make a fine husband. He's dependable. He's but I'm steady. an ornery cuss when my fur gets ruffled. Stony here is easy going. And he sort of grows on you. Boys, I'm very fond of you both. So fond of you, in fact, that I can't choose. So I'm afraid I'll have to refuse you both. You, you mean, mean you won't marry either of us? That's right. Thanks. Well, who's a lucky man? Both of us. Wait a minute. Bigamy's is kind of illegal, ain't it? She turned both of us down, you sap. Well, I don't blame her one bit. Hey, what's the matter with us? I don't know. That's not so good, is it? No, it isn't. You must be slipping. Hey, what does she expect, anyway? We've got something a lot more serious to worry about. You're lollygagging. Stupid things I ever heard of. Do you think I'd allow Nancy to be sent to an orphanage and not do anything at all to prevent it? Of course I'll marry one of you. That's mighty nice of you, Miss Ellen. Yes. Uh, uh, of course you realize it's strictly a business arrangement. Very well, then. Fong says you have three days' grace, but we might just as well get it over with immediately. Well, which one of us do you want? It really doesn't matter. I'll let you decide who's to make the terrible sacrifice. You'll let me know? Or would you rather surprise me at the altar? They'd better let you know. Well, who's it going to be? Why don't let me cut the cards? As good a way as any. No man bridegroom? Yeah. Say when. When? <laughs> you say when. <laughs> when? Let me be the first to congratulate you. <laughs> That's the first mistake I made like that in 20 years. You double-crossed me. I didn't mean to, Stoney. Don't worry. I'll get you out of it. Mm. Some of Uncle Sam's best. Too bad. No good. Counterfeit. 
No, it ain't no good. Let me open that. Maybe the next batch won't be. If you're going crazy, that only do is have to land us in the who's gone. I've got to try to win back what I lost. Maybe you won't. Then I'll get it back. Made a catch, huh? Yeah, how about a hundred to your two? Suit me. Seem to be your lucky day. My luck might change. Sure. By golly, that's right. Stoney's getting married this afternoon. I hate to break up a good game, but I gotta get traveling. No fine now. Dan shut up. I'll take the rest of this money. I think I got what I'm after. Take my horse and make better time. All right, hand over your dough. Jake, so you're a road agent. Don't get any of that queer money mixed with the good or it might get you in a lot of trouble. I'm afraid you're too smart for your own good. Well, what do you do with it? We'll let the boss decide that. Is he over there? All right, time at your Weisenheimer's hands. start cashing in. Very soon, I think. I wonder what's keeping Lullaby. No, he won't dare show up. It's getting late, boys. I reckon we can't wait no longer. All right. Is the bride ready? Well, she's up in the kitchen fixing refreshments. Will you call her, my child? All right. All right.
anyone here can show just cause why these two should not be joined in holy wedlock. Let him speak now. Hurry up! Tell a bite in trouble, me make he kill. Sorry. that your boner may work out to our advantage, I'd be tempted to break your neck. What's the idea? We'll look pretty incriminating when they find what's left of our friend. And this is where they must have turned off. Yeah. There's another card over there. Bob, you go get the sheriff. All right. Husband? I do. <laughs> <laughs> 